Hello guys, I am Rajiv and welcome back to my channel Rajiv Code Lab. So guys, in today's lab, we are going to set up high MQ MQTT broker with Raspberry Pi Pico W. And we are going to achieve this project step by step in a simple way. If you are learning, if you are new to the MQTT, then also you can understand. So I have explained in such a way. So uh, the agenda of this video is like we are going to set up Hive MQ account in the first step. We are going to get the credentials for username and password and the endpoint to connect with the MQTT. Next, we are going to write the code for connecting the PyPicoW with the Hive MQ. And in the last step, we are going to read the temperature sensor value and we are going to publish the temperature sensor value in every two seconds. And we are going to read the same on the Hive MQ portal. So let's get started, guys. So, guys, the first step is to open the Hive MQ cloud. So, you need to search Hive MQ cloud and then you can just come to this website and then you need to log in and sign up basically if you have not signed up then you need to sign up so like i'm just trying to log in with the google so i will just i can quickly do that that's why so now the sign up process is done let me just accept all and here you need to fill this this info so let's see lab and what all option we have okay software engineer company i'm just adding a self let's close this continue okay and Okay, let's create the cluster okay we are going to use the free one so let's click on this perfect like we are ready to go i mean you can see how quickly everything is ready so let's click on this and so basically this is the mqtt url guys which we are going to use okay so this is fine now we need to create the user basically so that the same uh, user we can provide username and password while connecting from the raspberry pi pico w so guys uh, you need to come to the access management and create the username and password okay so i'm just uh, creating for rajiv code lab so i'm just giving rajiv and rate then this one two three now it's accepting that's fine so is basically the password or uh, you need to make some a strong password not the easy one that's why it's okay so let me just copy this else i will forget and uh, so guys let's say if you are creating this uh, user so what all in i mean permission you want to give okay so for us like let's assign publics and subscribe both okay because the same we are going to use so let's create that okay perfect and just let's test this okay so username we had raji code lab and password i just copied so yeah rajiv okay perfect let's try to connect perfect so here if you see the client is connected then we are good to go okay so let's come to the thony and try to integrate the hive mq with the raspberry pi pico w and guys to work with mqtt you need to install a package which is umqtt dot simple and if you have not watched the previous videos guys please do watch because that is really a prerequisite so let's come here and manage package and here we need to write umqtt dot simple 
so you can see you mqt.simple so you just need to click this and install okay perfect now let's start the coding for that so first i'm going to import network so guys if you have followed the previous videos then i was not using ssl like while connecting to the uh, local mosquito but in case of the hive mq you need to have the ssl okay so let's go ahead and define variable for mqdt broker and okay then qtt user equals to here i'm just adding the chief code lab okay and mqtt password which we have just created so which is this one and we are good and the port basically it won't be uh, a string and in case of uh, this high mq we need to just uh, provide zero here okay and the client id you can just keep anything like we can uh, make it like pico okay so that's not required and now let's come to the portal and grab this broker and url okay so we need to come here and let's copy this okay. perfect now let's start with the first part, connecting our raspberry pi pico w with the wi-fi okay so let's write the code for that let me just add the comment so now let me just quickly finish this and here username and password okay it is connected time dot sleep so in every one second like we uh, just try if uh, it's not connected okay okay perfect now let's try okay whether uh, i mean till here everything is fine or not okay so i'm just saving this as okay dot y okay so now i'm um, so now let me just run this okay perfect we are connected to the internet so this part we have not yet started okay so now we will move on the basically mqtt part okay let me just pull down this so that you can see the code so let's first uh, define the topic okay pub i'm just adding pub because uh, we are going to publish okay so the pub the name i'm giving like i'm mean basically the topic name i'm giving like a topic and temp so this one you can give anything there is no restriction on that okay so now let's create the context for the ssl and then the context dot verify mode equals to we are not going to use any certificate so there is a set set none we'll do that okay that's fine now guys we are going to basically write the part for the mqtt client okay so that's the interesting part let's create this equals to mqtt client uh, we have imported already okay now we need to pass all the parameters okay so first is the client id is to mqtt client id then server uh, then let me just uh, add enter here so that user equals to now mqtt user equals mqtt password and at the end we are going to use ssl equals context okay this is perfectly fine now let's see mqtt client dot connect okay now let me just print whether it's connected or not now let's see
oh we are good so you can see we are connected to the high mq broker means we are good basically guys we need to read the temperature sensor value which is coming in built with the raspberry pi pico w so you ha might have seen uh, in my uh, most of the videos basically i use the same i don't use external dht sensor because that's not required okay that's coming by default so let's write the code okay for that uh, so let me just define the function read temp and machine dot adc and it's coming with the pin number four so conversion conversion factor okay we pull down okay uh now we are going to get the temperature so equals seven two one so guys this is uh i mean a standard formula okay you can get anywhere uh that's fine now return temperature okay perfect so let me just it's not coming center okay so now let's write the try for the exception handling guys because nail like we are dealing with the mqtt and also it's better to use that equals read temp okay now let's try to publish the message guys so mqtt client dot publish and here we are going to use the topic which we have just created okay and uh, temperature and let's print a message like uh, okay uh, and here i can just log the temperature also so what's whatever uh i mean we are getting the same we can see in the log okay so that's fine okay now let's uh publish this in every two second guys okay and like if you can increase also like you can uh, publish in every five second it's up to you so for testing let's do it now let's finish this uh try part so accept disconnected okay okay now let's try to run this and see what's happening guys and okay uh okay object of type float has no length okay so that's the error we are getting at line number 49 so here so what we can do is let me just try to convert in the temp str equals str temp okay so here utf 8 okay publish topic now hopefully it should be fine yep oh we are good guys okay so you can see uh you are getting a duplicate because i have added this part so this is not required i just for debugging i did this so we are good now we are able to publish okay perfect so it's publishing here now let's come to the the portal basically once again and let's connect with the web client and see what's going on okay so Razio code lab and the password basically uh, let me just copy from here okay now connect and guys here uh, let's say if you want to uh, basically subscribe for all the topics then you can just uh, I mean uh, do the hash and subscribe so whatever topic you are using for the this the client okay everything would be everything you can see here okay so let me just show you that also so I have subscribed for everything now we can see here right temperature is coming in every two second okay even it's coming as the same but yeah definitely let me just put hand okay maybe it will change
that's perfect yeah it got changed here you can see so i just uh, i mean added my hand so that's why so we are good okay now uh, i mean let's say you don't want to subscribe for all right so what you can do is you can just uh, put uh, let me just remove this okay subscription ended now um, let me just so what you can do is you can just get your topic okay so our topic is this right topic theme then you can need to come here and just subscribe okay so if you see yeah perfect we are getting right i will push the code to the gist okay so i mean if you are new to the channel just come here and so this is the gist okay where i put i mean every code okay so you can get the code from here and i will put the dis uh, link in the description so that's what i just wanted to share with you guys okay we'll see in the next video where in the next video guys we are going to control the led using the same hive mq and for that video we are going to use node red and we are going to also create a nice dashboard using node red so stay tuned guys we'll see in the next video thanks for watching i hope you like the video guys if you really like consider supporting me by just buying me a coffee on my buy me coffee page and also don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends we'll meet you in the next video thanks for watching